the Knowledge Capture Anti-Counterfeit mobile application enables users within the field to identify when physically seized goods are potentially counterfeited. Within this mobile application, we're able to publish Message of the Days, which enables users to get updates based on certain batch numbers or barcodes that have already been identified as being counterfeited. But it also enables users to be able to scan a barcode or a unique identifier on a particular product. If I hit the scan button, this then launches the camera and I can then view my product. And as we come down to the barcode, this will do an automatic lookup to find any documentation related to that particular product. By clicking the view option, I then get to look at this content and with standard mobile functionality, I'm able to pinch and zoom to check out what might be different about this particular product. As I go through the document, it gives me hints and tips as to where I need to be looking in order to identify whether or not this is counterfeited. For example, at the very bottom, it could be the O in compressed is actually a leaf, whereas in the counterfeit version, they might not have replicated that properly. This documentation can be uploaded by the brands in order for them to manage versions, make sure the agents in the field are always using latest documentation, or it could be technical documentation, technical drawings, and all of this can be defined based on a user security settings as well. So if there is highly sensitive information, it can all be encrypted and can be stored securely. As a user of the system, I also have the ability to then provide feedback on that documentation. It could be that I've spotted something new that I want someone to investigate further, or it could be that I found it incredibly useful or didn't find it useful. This can then be fed back into the business where they can then start to update their documentation in order to make the process of identifying counterfeit goods as useful as possible. What I can also do from within the mobile application is actually launch a report function and kick off case creation. By hitting the report option in the top right hand corner, I can look to add an image of this particular product that I have in front of me. So if I click the add button, again, we leverage the camera capabilities. If I zoom in, it could be that I've noticed some information on this uh, particular part isn't quite right. I can snap that photo, I can use it. And what I can then do is append multiple photos to a central system. I can then start to index this case slightly. So in this example, we we can say it's a counterfeit good. However, if we're also finding content that's related to the gray market, pirated or unspecified, we can put that within the application. I can then also define based on a region as well. So at the moment, we've got a few key regions within this application. We could also break this down by specific countries. In this case, if I just say South Africa, and I can then start to input some basic report comments. So it could be a case of I've been alerted by a port authority, by customs agents. I've gone down to a certain location, pick this content up, and I believe it's counterfeited. We may then need to start a further investigation. So once I hit submit, this will then give me the case number that I've now generated, so 1565. This is automatically generated each and every time a new case is generated within the system. And it means that if I want to append further documentation reports at a later date, I now know the case number that I can then input information into. The case could also be triggered off the head office where an investigator can then take over this process and actually start to process this investigation all the way through to resolution. Back within the mobile application, I also have the ability to look at batch numbers as well. So if there's a specific batch number that I'm interested in um, that I may have found on a product and I want to check to see if it's on a hot list, on a watch list that's already been identified as being counterfeited, I can simply input the batch number here or I can simply browse through the brands. And what this enables me to do is select through the brands and basically find products and then sub products in order for me to actually find any documentation relating. So it could be that the counterfeit job is so bad that the unique identifier is hard to identify. Could be there's issues with the barcode, issue with the printing, in which case I'm still able to narrow down my results and find what product I have in front of me and the relevant documentation associated to that product as well. This solution all links back into the Knowledge Capture Cloud where all the relevant documents and details are being held within a secure archive. And as before, all of this information can be defined based on security profiles, making sure that only the right people have access to the right documentation.